It's Friday, but this story feels more like throwback Thursday. A lot of you remember Vince Henman and John Perigo, gifted athletes from almost two decades ago out, uh, out in Laurel. Well, this weekend they're being inducted to Northern Arizona's Athletic Hall of Fame as part of the Jacks 2003 Big Sky Co-Championship team. And here's a look back at some of the high school glory days where they both played football and wrestled. They were key cogs in Laurel's 99 state championship win over Hamilton. Perigo then left for NAU, Henman to the Air Force Academy. But they'd later team up again both with the Lumberjacks, though gladly they say they'd likely have stayed in town, in state in fact, if the Cats and Grizz had shown interest. Yeah, you know, that's an interesting uh, question, uh, Scott, because obviously our high school team and some of the attention that we got, and you know, you'd think it would have been different, and, and meaning, meaning that some of us would have went there. We didn't really get the offers that we thought we'd get. It was a lot of partials or preferred walk-ons at the time. And I know there's some coach changes, I believe, with uh, the Grizz at that time. So you're probably going to bring your own crew in, I guess. Um, so when you really didn't feel, I guess, the love from those uh, colleges at the time, um, and we had others that were really excited about us and, and you know, obviously helping us get through school with, with full-ride scholarships and that, it was really a no-brainer for us. However, that being said, coming back home and playing in those stadiums that you've watched, you know, since you're a little kid, but on the opposite side of the sideline was, again, just a never, never can imagine that that's what it would have been. But in the moment, you know, there's nothing like coming back to Montana. It's my favorite place in the world to, to be, whether it's playing football or just coming home to visit families. That was always special to come back and play against them. Do you have a special moment from that championship season that, that really stands out? This is probably my best memory is, you know, we were ranked 16th. So, we, of course, we have to play the number one team in the country, McNeese State. You know, they're defending national champs. I think they've been undefeated for a couple of years. And we're going down to their home, you know, down in Louisiana, and we roll in there. And probably had one of the best games that I've, I've had as far as, you know, sacks and tackles for loss. And all of us just played well. And we come, came out of there winning 35-3. to three. That was a really fun game. Obviously, a high-pressure game, but we just clicked that game. And uh, that was one of my best memories, beating the number one team in the country in the first round of the playoffs.